give it a pull through. This is Ron Liberti. Right now, he's making a poster through a process called screen printing. If I have an idea, I could come up with it and then the next day burn it onto a screen and then it becomes art immediately. In order to make screen printed posters, Liberti pushes ink over a mesh screen, transferring his designs onto paper. He does the whole process himself out of his home in Wilson, North Carolina. This for our show coming up on the 20th of, uh, on 420 at the back room of the cradle. And I, and I just used this letter set to scratch on the letters. So I really do keep it old school. Liberty has been making posters that promote band performances ever since he started his own band in college. And they're special because there's only 50 of these things and that's it. There's only going to be 50 of them. While Liberty's posters are produced in limited quantities, many of his designs are preserved in libraries. UNC's Southern Folklife Collection features recreations of posters made by Liberty and other artists who played a role in advertising concerts. Curator Stephen Weiss says that collecting the posters in an archive extends their lifespan and gives people who didn't go to the concerts a chance to see them. There's a lot of humor in there. There's a lot of history in there. There's a lot of beautiful artwork. Um, I, I just find it amazing to go through them. You see, you know, a uh, year's worth of creativity. Brawless, a Chapel Hill-based band made up of UNC students, still uses poster art to promote their performances, some of which they make themselves. I've drawn and, you know, doodled for a lot of my life, but like actually getting to draw a frog with teeth and then say, hey, come see our band, and then posting it on Instagram. It's frog fast! Exactly, yeah. like we kind of get into the little weird and wacky side of it more than like the professional graphic design part of it. So it can be awesome to find things that we all are like, Wow, I really connect with that. Making these kinds of designs is more than just fun and games. Promoting themselves creatively has paid off. Did you ever think that you would get this big when you first started? Girl, no way. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. To have people actually want to come watch us, to mm -hmm. pay actual currency, to like stand in front of us, is amazing. It's a yeah. dream come true. From playing at a house party, to playing on the big stage, posters have helped bands like Brawless make a name for themselves, a given artist like Ron Liberty a lasting career. In Chapel Hill, I'm Sarah Choi, reporting.